This is from 1 Kings 18 and 21. And it reads, this is from the <clears throat> New King, uh, this is from the King James Version of the Bible. Elijah then came near to all the people and said, how long will you go limping between two opinions, two different opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Now watch this. The people did not answer him a word. Mm. Did you see that? You say, well, Carpenter, what you talking about? Let me tell you what I'm talking about here, because here's what we have here. Many of you that are watching this right now and will watch this are pastors, preachers, leaders in the Church of God. But because of the hierarchy system in the Church of God, uh, you're afraid to say something. You're afraid to speak out. You're afraid to hold your brother accountable because typically it's, it's a system where if you talk back or if you retaliate or, or if you speak up, let me say it like this, you get retaliated upon. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's not correct. You can't do it. That's why somebody do. <laughs> um, that's, a, that's the situation with the EEOC. But I digress. That's not my issue. So a lot of times people see things. They know things, but they'll sit there. You fake Chris, You fake leaders. You'll sit there smile. <laughs> Pray the Lord. Hey, Bishop A. And sit right up there and be like, that's no good Negro, blah, 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 whatever the case. You're wrong. But here's where it says, but we all have to be accountable to the word. Now you've got the word and you cannot hear it. How long will you halt between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. If it's Baal, follow him. Are you going to sit there in silence, bishops? Are you going to sit there in silence, pastors? Are you going to sit there in silence, executive committee? Huh? Because here's the deal. $51,000 once or $49.37 IRS federal tax lien because the Florida Coco State Office. Mm hmm Some of y'all didn't know that, huh? You know now. Yes, there's a $51,000 plus tax lien, federal tax lien, on the Church of God Coco State Office. You said, oh my. Now, here's the actual document. And it may be hard for you to see on the screen, so I'm, I'm going to give you another one that has the arrows pointed to it. But I want you to take a few, look at a few things. It says, the Department of the Treasury, Internal Revenue Service, Notice of Federal Tax Lien. Huh? Look at that down there. Kind of tax, 6721. That first one is the kind of tax. That is actually a, I believe, property tax from 2015. It goes to the identifying number. Date of assessment, it was assessed on 2018. Uh, that is October 29, 2018. Last day for refiling, 11-28-2028. All I do is pay $235.40. So, he got noticed, a notice, that whoever up at the state office at 4015 U.S. Highway 1, Coca, Florida, that... There was something, property tax or something like that, a code number 6721, $235.40. If he would have paid that, the state would have paid that, that would have been done. From what my said, it's still not paid. Hey, he has till 2028. Now, that's a long time. You got five more years to pay that. And it's already been on there from 20, no, 20, it's 2015, excuse me. Okay, so that's to 2015. 2015, <laughs> and you got to 2028 to pay $235.40, and you hadn't paid it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. That's bad stewardship, Anthony. That's bad stewardship. Horrible stewardship. But let's go a little further. It gets worse. It gets worse, y'all. Look at that. But I want you to notice there, the arrow right there that's pointing to the right, my right, maybe your left. You see there sideways, it says Filed. This was filed with the clerk of the court. Look where this was filed. The tax period ended in 2015. Ended in 2015. Uh, it was assessed on 2018. So three years, all you had to pay was $235.40 to the IRS. You still got to 2028 to pay it. $225.40. But look where this was filed, y'all. 
July 21st, 2021. So, ladies and gentlemen, pastors, bishops of the Church of God, Florida Cocoa Office, your bishop has been made aware that there's a tax lead from the IRS. They've been getting letters, apparently. Listen, let me, let me go back. Let me go back. The first period was 2015, 200 some dollars, 235 40 Now, I ain't never been in no trouble with the IRS. But I know people who have been. I mean, can I get a witness here? Can I, can I get one witness in here? Yeah. Put your comments down below. Huh? Huh? And if you know, if the IRS, if the federal government, if they contact you, they're going to send you letter after letter after letter after letter. They're going to call. They're going to call. They're going to send letter after letter. Am I right about it? You call you coming down there below, <laughs> huh? So now, watch this. So you be to tell me. Oh, I'm gonna say something. Your ignorant tail couldn't just pay that two thirty five. Have to say pay that two thirty five and forty cents and be done with it. Then kind of tax. Let's move it out a little further. Kind of tax back here in this other left hand side, nine forty one. That's the rest of it. that's a payroll tax. First of all, who's on payroll at the state office? Hmm. I don't even know. Who's the treasurer? Who's the clerk? Who's the one paying? I don't think you said. Who's the one paying the bills? Who's the one paying the light bill? Who's writing the check to pay your salary, Anthony? Hmm. The payroll tax, the rest of the payroll tax from 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018, 2019, 2019, 20, every quarter, 2020, all in 2021. So now they've been trying to contact you about this since every quarter up until March 31st, 2021. You've got this notice that was this lien filed on the property since July 2021. And nobody said a mumbling word. So now it's going from two thirty five forty to five thousand seventy nine dollars and zero five cents to five thousand plus another five thousand three hundred sixty eight dollars and twenty three cents to another five thousand thirty nine dollars and forty nine cents to another five thousand six hundred forty dollars and twenty three cents to another fifteen hundred nine dollars and twenty six cents to another five thousand eighty two dollars and ninety three cents. Add on another $4,149.71. Add on another $3,600.87. Add on <coughs> another $4,052.51. Add on another $3,660.67. Add on another $4,051.98. And add on another $3,679.04. Grand total. $51,149.37. Huh? And he got till June 23rd of 2031 to pay it. And you hadn't paid it. Let me say it right there. Pay the fine, Secretary of State of Florida. $51,149.37. That's a disgrace and a shame before God, and you need to be sent home tonight. Tim Hill, send that boy home. How in the devil can you sit up there? And now the state office, the state office, let's go back. That state office right there. Yeah, huh? Huh? That state office right there. That is paid for, bought in the late 70s by Dr. C.C. C. Pratt. Used to be a radio station. How in God's name can you sit up there, go into that office, call up that office, tell this, send your time the times, going around, you spent fifty, you spent fifty thousand dollars just on media equipment at the state convention. Between the cameras and the live streaming and the LED screens and the musicians and the music equipment and the ritual and the mics. 
You spent that on state convention in one part. But didn't tell the states nothing. That's low down, boy. That's low down. That's low down. God gonna get you, man. God gonna get you. Ain't no, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about the beloved people of Florida Cocoa Office. Say what you want to. If they would have known, I'm going to say it just like this. If they would have known, if you would have come to them, I mean, $240, somebody come up. But even if it was $51,000, and you forgot about it, okay, yeah, over six years. If you would have told them, listen, we had issues with the IRS with payroll. We weren't doing it right. And that happens. That happens. That happens. That happens. That happens. And we've got, we, they, want, they put a lead on us. We want to take care of this. So I need every church, every pastor to send whatever you can. We want to pay this off for 30 days. I guarantee you, with no questions asked, most churches would have sent an offer almost immediately. They would have had to have a chicken dinner, a special service, or whatever case. And some of the larger churches would have sent a couple thousand dollars easy. Just to get that off, but you didn't even trust them to do that. You let it sit out there and put a bad name on the state, on the church. Can I get you? The, how you thought what nobody gonna find? It's public record. It's public record. I wasn't looking for somebody sent it to me. Thank you for our intel. Unbelievable! 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 Unbelievable. So there you are, say. There you are. There you are. So that's currently what's going on. Situation was totally wrong. Well, listen. You, you racial profile. We're not racial profile. No, sir. No, sir. We're not about I that. I told right? you I was here Tell us about the town you live in and how, how big and what it's near and all like that. To give us some well, context. It's Chillsburg, Alabama. I don't exactly know the uh, population, but it's pronounced Chillsburg. We're so thankful that you we were able to spend some time with us today. Well, like I said, I'm just glad to be here, and I'm glad that the story is, uh, is being put out. I think I'm thankful for my attorneys, uh, Attorney Bethany and uh, my other attorneys that getting the story put out. Because I believe that it's not just about me, but it's about a thing that's been going on culturally, and it need to be, uh, uh, I guess, uh, exposed all over the nation. You know what's going on, so where we can have better communication between uh, municipalities and the community, especially when it comes down to law enforcement. But we are glad that you're alive. Yes, Lord. That's the reason I wouldn't go leave and try to go get no ID. I, I didn't even have it on, but I wasn't going to turn my back. If right. I would have just turned and ran to go get it right quick, I probably wouldn't be here. But I, I, and I, I'm, Let me applaud you. Let me just give you props and say you handled that. I mean, with grace, class, I mean, maybe the Lord to me, whatever, because you, because that could have gone, we know it could have gone either way. All you would have had to do is do one little thing, you know, mm -hmm. and so you you handled that. Because I don't, I don't know how I would have done. You just don't know when you're in that situation, but uh, yeah, definitely you. Yeah, I, I, I know you say for real. <laughs> <laughs>